every once in a while, there is an auction that comes onto the market that everyone should pay attention to because of its depth, because of its history, because of the quality. And uh, this sale that's coming up, in, uh, Bonhams is running in Paris, coming up, uh, it's the collection of Robert and Jean-Pierre Rousset. And Jean-Pierre and Robert uh, uh, Rousset were uh, very influential um, Parisian art dealers. They're multi-generational dealers. Um, they gained their, their, both of them gained their interest in the, in the art world from aunts and uncles who lived during the 19th century who are also collectors. Robert Rousset uh, passed away in uh, 1981. And Jean-Pierre Rousset, his nephew, died in 19, uh, 2021. Uh, but it was Robert Rousset that got Jean-Pierre into it. And this is the com combined collections of both gentlemen. And uh, uh, they, are, uh, they were a very active family in the Parisian art market. Uh, they still are. The family still is. They were major benefactors to the Musée Guimet and other institutions. Uh, they d donated things to uh, all kinds of uh, historical societies and documents and whatnot through the years. Just really interesting people. And uh, this is the collection. And it's an enormous collection. And a lot of sculpture, a lot of visual art. They loved the family was particularly fond of sculptures, as you'll see. Uh, 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 Tang, uh, early Chinese bronzes, uh, you name it. The Han Dynasty pieces, uh, Buddha heads, all kinds of things. And what's really stunning about this collection, all, and, and uh, there's African material in here too, and French furniture and other things. But there's a giant component of Asian art, giant and all the very, very, very best pieces. And what's really striking are the estimates. The estimates are, are, are like something out of the 1970s. And uh, the, they're going to show you this. This is an example because many of you will recognize this. This is a really fine um, little uh, parcel gilt uh, 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 Ming bronze of Liu Hai. And uh, it was done probably during the 16th century. It's absolutely beautiful. The patina is excellent on it. Uh, everything about it is just perfect. Everything about it is just perfect. Highly visual, highly animated, uh, elegant quality, no damage, perfect condition, and uh, estimated at three to 500 euros, okay? That, that's, that's as, as many of you know that have been collecting for any length of time know that's a, a very low estimate. All right, and they seem to have done it across the board on pieces, um, uh, on many, many of the pieces. Uh, this, this little Ming Dynasty twin-handled cup with dragons on it. Um, and these nice little rebuses, rondelles running around it. It's a very fine piece of jade, uh, nice, nice quality nephrite, uh, good carving, all polished out beautifully. Um, estimated at just uh, five to 800 euros. Uh, then over here to this, if you like export wares, there's, there's quite a bit of very fine export porcelain in the sale. Uh, one of them is this lot here, is the Europeans riding Kyrins, uh, or they call them chimeras. Um, it, it's a it's a language difference. They're, they're technically Kirins, but at any rate, uh, two to three hundred euros for the pair for the pair. Eight, Kung Shi period. All right, and then this is why you you if you're interested in this stuff, you absolutely have to uh, uh, make an effort here on this auction. Uh, then you have this Ming Dynasty table with a polished uh, 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 pottery slab top on it. Uh, very rare table. Here's the pottery uh, top with the uh, twin dragons chasing the pearl. This exceptional uh, lacquer work around the outer border with dragons everywhere uh, and Buddhist symbols, whatnot. Um, there's the table. This is a very, very rare table. There's only a few of them around. Uh, I think there's, there's a, a couple of them illustrated from the Palace Museum, and that's about it. And uh, it has a fairly strong estimate, but I don't think it's a crazy estimate. Four to 600,000 euros. It should easily get beyond that. Um, uh, I suspect, given the state of the furniture market, it's very, very strong. And then you have things like this, this really fine Chinlung period charger, 13 inches in diameter, estimated at just three to $500. And this is a great example. Uh, there it is, coming into focus. Uh, you'll notice one thing about it. It's an absolutely pristine condition. Absolutely pristine. It's as fresh as the day it was made by all appearances. 
absolutely great, great colors, great shading, uh, tastefully done, elegantly laid out, just perfect. Um, and a three to 500 euro estimate for a charger of that quality. And then this may be the big, the greatest porcelain bargain in the whole sale if it goes for that estimate. This is a Chenlung period Famille Rose uh, vase. It's 20 inches tall, estimated at just eight to 1200 euros. This is a big vase. And the quality of the decoration, again, like the plate we just looked at, is absolutely stupendous. And what's very unusual about this is the placement of the lion mask. Instead of being up on the uh, shoulders here where they typically put them, they put the midsection at, sort of at the widest point of the vase for some reason. That's, that's an unusual feature. Uh, but the, the, the vase itself is, like, like the plate we just looked at, is in, is in superb condition. It was meticulously painted. It's absolutely Chin Lung period, and it's 20 inches tall. This is a very, very big vase, uh, and, uh, and especially in this palette. Um, and the estimate is, is uh, like I said, eight to 1,200 euros. This, this vase should bring five to seven thousand dollars, I would think, very easily. Uh, it's an absolutely great thing. It really is. And then you have this. You have this Fang Hu, uh, Eastern Zhao period, uh, uh, estimated 120 to 180 thousand. But this is enormous bronze. Uh, it is 23 inches tall. There are photographs of it in the. Uh, this is in. Uh, I think this is in um, uh, Robert Rousset's apartment from many many years ago, back in the 30s. Uh, and you see his African masks and all this other stuff in this elegant scene. Uh, with this beautiful, beautiful pair of chairs and uh, f backed by a big mirror. Uh, but the bronze itself is stupendous. It's in great condition um, and very large, and it's original patina. But the casting is just phenomenal on this. And th this bronze, I believe, they've, they've lent it to, a few times to places. It was acquired by um, uh, Robert Rousset, uh, Let's see here, illustrated in the, the, the photograph was taken in the 1950s, not the 1930s, but it was acquired by uh, Robert Rousset uh, during his lifetime, probably back in the, in the, in the, in the 30s or something. Uh, estimated at 120 to 180,000, should go for six to 800,000, I would suspect. And then this, this is one of my favorite things in the sale, is this uh, very, very, very fine Warring States to Eastern Han uh, Dynasty um, uh, cast bronze uh, 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 dragon. Uh, when you pull it in, look at this thing. Look at the surface on this casting. Just absolutely great. It's been mounted on a sand because it's missing the bottoms of its legs uh, for some reason, but the, the sculptural aspect of this is just excellent. Uh, all the way around. It's estimated at just three to 5,000 euros. It is, uh, th how long is this? Three and a half inches long, but boy, what quality. It's just absolutely amazing. And this is the whole, how the whole sale is. And it has these equally low estimates across the board. Here you have a really, really fine six dynasties, um, a, a jade, a, a, a bixi or dragon, um, estimated at 40 to 60,000 pounds. Um, this is, a, you know, these aren't, a, aren't inexpensive things, but this is a, an unbelievably uh, well done high quality carving uh, all the little details all the polish the way it's done the incise lines everything is done with such precision it's just amazing and uh, 40 to 60 thousand pounds I'm pretty sure that's a bargain and then when you get into the pottery um, way pottery and the tang tang pieces on here if you if you're interested in early pottery you really have to pay attention to the sale. Uh, in this case, you have this uh, Wei Dynasty uh, figure of a guardian. It measures uh, 11 and 7 eighths inches tall, and it's estimated they're, 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 they're obviously going to sell it. It's estimated at around five to six hundred dollars. Um, it should it should uh, go well beyond that. It's a great example. It's in beautiful condition. Has all of its pigment, and. Um, if you, if you can buy that for under $1,000, I think you're doing pretty well for yourself. And then this one, another Guardian, also Wei Dynasty of a figure, a very similar to the last one, four to six hundred dollar estimate, four to six hundred euro estimate. There's the figure. Uh, it's around a foot tall, very expressive face on it. Uh, absolutely love this. Uh, let's see, how tall is this? This is 12 inches tall. This is a foot tall. And again, four to six hundred dollar estimate. And this is the way the whole, the sale just keeps going on and on like this. It's absolutely amazing. And then you have this, this uh, really great li uh, limestone uh, carved uh, uh, Buddha head. Uh, 
Uh, dating to the, let's see, this is the, what, this is the uh, Qi Dynasty. Yeah, Qi Dynasty, Northern Qi. Uh, two to 300,000 euros. And this is a pretty good size head. This is a big head. It is 17 inches tall. Okay, and it was bought from uh, C.T. Lou in Paris uh, to Robert Rousset, and then it went to Jean-Pierre Rousset. It was, so it was the last time it was on the market was when C.T. Lou was alive, and he brought it out of China. And he was known for this kind of stuff, bringing out great sculptures. And this was something they bought directly from C.T. Lou when he had the, uh, his famous uh, Paris gallery. And then this, this Sui Dynasty uh, uh, figure with olive glaze on it. This is a very unusual, very rare figure. Uh, very stylistic, uh, great detail in uh, all of its aspects. You have this unglazed uh, face and beard coming down. Just a, a stunning piece. And uh, again, the estimate uh, is three to five thousand dollars. But this is a, a very, very fine carving, and it measures twenty-five inches tall. This thing is over two feet tall. It's enormous. Uh, again, uh, this is what they collected, and they have there's African art and other things. There's all kinds of stuff. Then there's the Huan Hua Li uh, 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 Ming Dynasty table with the uh, I believe this is has the stone top in it. Yeah, here it is. There's the stone, but it's inscribed, and there's the there's the top of it. But the stone is inscribed on the back, okay. And this is the table. It looks to be in great condition. Very very fine rare table. Uh, as I said, it's Ming, estimated at 120 to 150 thousand. Uh, the last time one of these came up, it was um, it was a, I think we recorded it. It's in one of our videos. Uh, it was a, a Sotheby's sale. And uh, there was a table pretty similar to this. And as I recall, it brought around $650,000. So we'll see how this one does. All right. And then on to this. This is the cover lot. This is the, this is a giant uh, carved Jin Dynasty wooden figure of a bodhisattva. Uh, it measures the size of this thing is, is something. It's uh, 26, uh, let's see here, uh, da, 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 32 inches tall, 26 inches wide. Uh, it's very, very big, 75 centimeters. This is a big carving, and it is very early, has loads of detail. It is in good condition. It's missing a hand, but the facial expression of this, this is, this is what really really makes this one of the great ones, is the, is the facial expression, the proportions, the eyebrows, the way the nose is done, the lips, the cheeks are pinched in, the long lobes hanging down, the jewelry, and uh, of course the entire body is fully, uh, fully uh, detailed with all of the folds and the robes carved into the wood. The wood is, has lots of pigment left in it from when it was originally done, and it's estimated at 1 million to 1 million 500,000 euros. And that's a, that is a lot of money, but big wooden Buddhas like this don't turn up very often, especially ones this early. And then you have this, this giant um, uh, Thai Buddha head. Uh, it measures, this thing is huge, it measures 17 inches, just the head. And it was bought uh, uh, from the, uh, well, it was acquired from the Minister of France to the Kingdom of Siam by Robert Rousset. So back in the, back in the day, as they say, and uh, here it is. And the quality of this casting is just absolutely superb all the way, all the way through. Um, the, the, the very strongly cast eyelids and eyebrows. Uh, uh, the hair, the curls in the hair are all meticulously done. The patina is beautiful. Uh, everything about it, there's nothing in here not to like. It's estimated at 20 to 30,000 euros. Uh, again, that seems like a very low estimate to me. And then there's carpets and textiles too. I should I, I should get some of these. Uh, there are a, a, a number, there's probably a dozen or so interesting Chinese carpets in particular and throne, throne seat covers, woven piled carpets. This one dates to the Qing dynasty sometime after the, uh, uh, during the Daoguan period or a little later, but a very nice example with dragons all the way around it. This is an unusual layout. Uh, and very, very graphic. It, this is the sort of the, the thing that they, they were focusing on and they're collecting, it seems. It was, they were interested, you know, the, how, how graphic is, are the images. All right, now, um, here is this. Uh, and there's a little mistake on this listing. If you come over, if you're, if you're a Celadon buyer, I noticed that they said that the plate is 36 centimeters or 10 inches in diameter. Well, 36 centimeters is around 14 and a half inches. So that I think if you're going to you bid on this, you better get a clarification. I suspect it's 14 inches. They didn't make many that were 10 inches. They made tend to make them big. It's a very nice Salon Quan Celadon, um, uh, 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 14th or 15th century uh, Salon Quan kilns. Uh, nice example, very good color. 
And I'm sure that's why they bought it. Was it this, this, this is the color in Celadons that everybody's looking for. It's that color that, that was first seen on certain pieces during the Sung Dynasty. This very soft green all the way through. Just a, a really great example. And it looks like, it, again, also in fabulous condition and very reasonably estimated at eight to 12,000 euros. And then on to this. This was something that um, uh, uh, Jean-Pierre Rousset bought uh, during his career. Uh, is this very fine pair Juan Huali carved boys. Uh, uh, let's see, how tall are these? These are nice. Uh, they have these dated as, um, uh, well, they're saying Ming Dynasty, but 1736 to 1820. Um, I, I, I don't know. I think, I think uh, Jing Wen uh, got a little confused here. They're, 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 they're Qing Dynasty, um, or oh, Mid-Qing Dynasty. That's what they're saying, Mid-Qing. He's right. Okay. Okay. Uh, I could I misread it for a second. I went, no, wait a minute. Uh, but beautiful carving, just absolutely great. And these are big. They're uh, 11 inches tall, including the stands. Um, and there they are, polished, elegantly carved, absolutely perfect. Look at this. The eyes, the nose, the lips, all the little details that you want to see um, carefully done, they are done. Um, all the way down to the base, and then they're on these stupendous bases that were carved, these rocky uh, bases with Ling Bai on them that were made for them. Just absolutely great. Uh, estimated at four to 6,000 euros. And uh, then onto this, this is a, a, a great piece of Mongolian silver with jade insets. And, uh, and they make copies of these, but this is the real deal. This is a, a very fine one. The coral, the silver work is absolutely great. Uh, the jade top, jade finial, jade rondelles, um, jade bracelets on the ends. Uh, there's, it, it, and the, the, the funny thing is, is it has to make two to three thousand euros. The, the, the jade bracelets on the ends and, and just this panel are, are worth about five thousand dollars. So, you, you, I, I suspect this will probably bring eight to ten, eight to fifteen thousand, somewhere in there. Again, the estimates are about one third to half the value. I think that's sort of what they're shooting for, from what I'm seeing. Then you have this Ming Dynasty single handled cup, um, estimated at two to three thousand dollars, and and sort of of the same color and quality as the other one, uh, except this one has archaistic carvings around it and uh, good color again meticulously carved and estimated at just two to three thousand euros and then there are some paintings oh and there's Japanese paintings there's, there's uh, screens um, there are uh, uh, Gandharan stone shifts carvings uh, just about everything you could imagine and then there's this this Chen Yu uh, painting done during the 18th century <clears throat> of a rooster this is one of my favorite things. I absolutely love this. Um, the, 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 the color, uh, the, the layout, the, the graphic nature, the, the way the rooster is up with his tail up in the air and his head's tilting down, looking down at the ground. Uh, there's an inscription on it. Uh, and this, this is, uh, how big is this? this is a good size picture. 22 inches by 30, 36 inches long. So it's, it's, a, it's three feet tall and nearly two feet wide at the bottom. It was purchased by Robert Rousset prior to 1935. And uh, to a, 15, a 12 to $1,500 estimate, 12 to 1,500 euro estimate, I should say. And then there's this, uh, a very, very nice um, mid-Qing um, uh, dynasty uh, cloisonne uh, stand. Uh, let's see here, let's see if we get this to open, there it is. Uh, nice quality. This was bought by Robert Rousset. Um, uh, Jean-Pierre rather bought this uh, about 40 years ago in, in, at an auction in Paris. But a beautiful, beautiful colors. The colors on this are absolutely excellent, and it's good size. Um, it, it, it measures um, 14 inches in diameter, and it's estimated at just three to five thousand euros. And then, like I said, there's a lot of Japanese stuff in here. You have this um, uh, Netsuki, uh, Netsuki's, if you uh, in Inros. If you like Inros in particular, uh, check this sale out. There are about uh, a dozen and a half or so very fine um, Inros in mint condition, um, and this is just one of them. And the estimates again very reasonable, a thousand to fifteen hundred euros. All right, but you just really, if you like sculptures, uh, come over and check this auction out. Uh, register, uh, get involved in this, place a bunch of bids because if you get anything at this sale anywhere close to the estimates, I think you've got yourself a giant bargain on your hand. 
um, for the most part, all the way down, or all the way down. Uh, just lots of things because shipping and some of the sculptures would be difficult. But some of these bronzes aren't as big as they look. They're, they're six or eight inches tall, easy enough to get shipped to you. Have a friend pick them up. <laughs> Find some way to do it. But this is a, a very, very good auction, as you can see. And uh, uh, snuff bottles. Uh, there are some inroads, more Japanese paintings, uh, Japanese screens, uh, French furniture, um, wall sconces is a, a great uh, uh, mo, uh, uh, Mukozuki uh, plate here, uh, right here. Very, very sheen, a very nice piece of Shino ware. Uh, Luristan bronzes, and on and on and on this sale goes. Uh, and uh, as I said, all of the estimates seem artificially low. I'll just say it. Uh, it, it's absolutely crazy um, uh, what, what the estimates are. And I think it's just a sign to the audience that this stuff is all going to sell. And if you want it, come for it. And you're not going to be fighting difficult reserves and, uh, and all that business through the wholesale. This is, a, I think, a one and done operation. And they want it all gone. And uh, I think it's a, a great opportunity for somebody. Plus, you get something that has the provenance of the Rousset family uh, tied to it forever. And if you ever if you ever decide you, you don't want it anymore, um, that kind of provenance certainly doesn't hurt. So there you are. All righty. So do check it out. It's, it's certainly worth the time. Uh, uh, it's, it's an interesting sale all on its own just because of the diversity and it gives you a real keen look into the into the mind's eye of, of, a, of a family of multi-generational collectors. And there's a certain flavor that seems to flow right through the whole thing um, as far as quality and uh, the visual aspects. Uh, it's, it's absolutely, it's so cohesive. It's absolutely amazing. And uh, I think this is uh, one of the, you know, it could be one of the great sales of the year, um, without any doubt, just because of the quality and the history and all that goes with it. All right. So have a look at it. Um, have a good, uh, good rest of your week. Subscribe here if you haven't already. And um, we'll be back uh, again soon with another video. All righty. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.